Date selection allows you to set beginning and end dates for your reports. By default, the dates are empty, so the report output is not limited by any dates. This panel allows you to set two sets of start and end dates. First, you can set a start and end date for filtering issues. You can define this filter based on the create, update or resolution date of the issue. The dates defined here will be used to filter out issues that were created, updated or resolved outside the given date window. Defining filter dates will reduce the number of issues included in the report. Trim dates are different than filter dates and they are used to trim each issue's history. When trim dates are defined, time and status will only process the part of each issue's history defined by the trim dates. It will be as if each issue started to exist at the given trim start date and ceased to exist at the given trim end date. Defining trim dates will not affect the number of issues in the report but will reduce the duration values shown in the report since some part of issue histories will be excluded. Trim dates are particularly useful when you're working with old issues and want to focus on a specific period of time, maybe a phase of a project or a specific sprint. Date parameters do not depend on each other. All four date parameters in this window can be separately defined or can be left empty.